Hello everybody, my name is Just Noel, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back in Dredge. This is going to be like part 10, I think. Part 10. Um, last left off, I think we have like four of those artifacts given to the collector now. So now, I think all I need to do is... Sorry, lowering this in my ear a little bit. All I need to do right now is find the fifth one. I just need to find that fifth artifact and then we're good. And I think that's the end of the game, but I don't know what's going to happen. If it's going to be like, oh, you know, like that's it. You know, you found the fifth one. Congratulations. Here's your little trophy or whatever, you know. I don't know what all this is, but stop right there first. Where do I go? All right. <clears throat> Little Morrow, Greater Morrow, back over there. So, I seem to find all these little things and give this to the collector. Once I complete this, I, like I said, I really don't know what's gonna happen after this. So, we'll see what happens. And. Sorry if you guys get any kind of interference. Um, wait, hold on. Why am I going so slow? I can go in the right direction. Ah, I'm not. I'm going to go this way. Sorry if um, you guys hear anything in the background. I was having some issues yesterday with my microphone while trying to play online. But now it doesn't look like it's picking up any kind of interference now i think it should be fine um but yeah if i'm talking you hear something in the background there's an air conditioner going on for the house and then there's a fan like one of those cylinder stand-up fans in the middle of the room i have that set up try and cool the room down a little bit because it does get a little hot over here by the computer Right, I'm gonna dock and I'm gonna try and fix the ship real quick. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Hmm. Uh. Shipyard? No. No. Loading dock. No, that's not it. It was the shipyard. Uh. Sorry. There we go. I'm gonna see what I can do with research parts real quick. Because I have four parts, so I don't know. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, volcanic. I'll probably use one of those. That thing will probably give me more use. Volcanic and shallow, mangrove, coastal. That gives me everything with less space, so. Oceanic stuff to keep room for that one. Abyssal and Hadal I'll have to keep room for that one. So I'm gonna do this. Cool. I'm now going to go to the shipyard and I'm gonna see if I can't find me. Yeah, right there. Abyssal hat all. I need to keep that guy with me. That one looks like that. This one is mangrove and coastal. Um, uninstall. The storage and oceanic. I still need that one. Huh. This is gonna prove to be a little difficult. You know what? I think if I could just put this stuff into storage, it should be fine. Yeah, I should be fine. So I'm going to uninstall this, move it to storage, buy this guy, install this guy. Yeah, because I'm going to need something volcanic for this. 
where I'm at right now. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rest because last time I started sailing around, I almost said swimming around, sailing around at night. Went a little crazy, so I don't want to do that again. Prefer not to. Okay, there's something back here to my left that I can go to. Hmm. There's something right there in the water, so let me see what I can do here. Debris. Okay, light the fuse. Cool. Continue. What do I find down here? Stone tablet. Okay, I found a stone tablet. Is that what I needed to find? Figure that. Nope, it's not what I needed to find. Back to my left. What am I looking for then? I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now. The right. Something over here. Very close to where I need to be. Is this it? A stone shrine. So I need two different kinds of crabs. Okay, so I guess I need to put crab pots. This is the spot I'm supposed to be in, right? Yeah, shows I'm right on it. So I am going to equip crab pot. Drop a crab pot. Can I drop more or is that it? I figure if it's going to be something like that, like I assume those crabs are going to be nearby, so I'm just going to put the crab pot down and see what happens. Alright, take it easy with the creepy music, man. Something around the back of this other one is something else I can go check out, so let's go check that out and see what I can find. assume I can sail through here. I'm pretty fast now that I can get away from these other fish. I would just prefer not to have to deal with them. Okay, so in there is where it is. What does this one require? Don't try. Fish, and that's, I assume that's like a stingray, so. I need to do some fishing. Go do some fishing, yeah? Oh. God dang it. Thistle. Of course. Of course. One of the things that I need, I don't have right now. Now I need to find my little dock that I can dock at because I need some rest and I need to do some repairs there it is I think I see it over there it's about to get dark things are about to get weird
wasting my money with this. Shipyard. Oh my god. Auto repairs. I don't think I'm need anything oceanic right now. Um Hmm. I really don't know, you know. Store that. Store that. I'm going to take that guy. Why did I buy it? Why did I buy another one? Rest up real quick. It's one of my other stops I have right there. This ancient temple thing. Check it out. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, I think that's one of the things I need right there. Yep. I missed that one. Got it. Okay. That's one of the ones I need. And I'm going to take it directly over there so it doesn't spoil or rot or anything like that. And that's the one around the back over here. So take this thing back there. Call it a day for that fish. Alright, cool. I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, stone shrine, upright. Oh, now I just need one of those things. I have no idea what it is. I'm assuming it's probably going to be something I have to fish for at night. While I'm out and about, I might as well check out this other one. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Can I use my vanish ability? I can. Slab. A stone shrine and upright slab bears a carving two malformed fish writhing under the sun. A lower slab holds two shallow grooves. They're that big? So I just need two special fish then, right? I'm assuming they're just kind of letting me take my pick with these ones I'm only assuming so no you can you can go away please yeah appreciate that hey I just so happen to come across it I keep missing that thing Got it. Ghost shark. Interesting. Peculiar animal. Back here to my right. Well, this one's going to be done. Yes. Ghost shark. Cool. Hey, Rob. Got some equipment. Atomless flame. Okay. And a research part. Uh, things about to start getting real weird. Real weird. Of course. Ah. Uh. I'm going to sail around because I really don't want to deal with losing my light in the middle of that nonsense, you know? 
Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Please and thank you. Leave me alone. Oh. Much obliged. Excuse me. I'm out here doing my thing. Alright. I want to say I remember seeing that I need to like, I don't know, light some towers, or light some fires or something like that. So I'm assuming these fathomless flames are going to, oh, hit my microphone on that. What happened? Game just glitched. Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Talk to this fool. Pocket watch in size bro. Hmm. I want to rest, but I realize I should probably go and fish. There we go. There's something. There's something. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Of course. Of freaking course. Cool. Get away from me! Oh god! Oh god! Get back, get back, get back, get back! Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa! I lost something overboard. I don't know what that It said broken spectacles, but I don't think they were very valuable. Go, 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 go. Doc, 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 doc. Rest, bro. You need a rest. I need to fix my ship. $120. Oh. Undock. Alright, where's this one at that's like super far away? That one over there. Okay. the far side it's on the inside of these rocks over here right it's on the inside of the rocks oh I'm way off way off course There we go. I think I see it now. Yeah, that's it right there. Go ahead and blow this up. Yep. Go away. Go away. I don't have any more packed explosives. More of these things are coming after me now. Man, these things will not leave me alone. All right, cool. I think they have returned I just need to sail where where do I need to go I, think I need to go in here 
course, of course, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Take that. Take take that guy right there. Thank you. Much obliged. Much obliged. Oh my god. <laughs> I am destroying my boat. This sucks. I just need to catch one more strange fish, man. That's all I gotta do, and that one's done. Now, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna come in here and check my crab pots that I set. Check pot. Um, volcano snail. That's not exactly what I wanted, but okay, whatever. crabs I don't exactly know where you want me to place my crab pot but I will place my crab pot place it like out here yeah how's that how's this like it's good there we go grab my crab pot right there get some rest real quick And I'll do it right about here. This is where I'll go and look for another fish. Special fish. Come on. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No. Nope. Yeah. You can see a little better like this, like looking from down. Of course. Of course. Dang light goes out. Come on, weird fishies, come on out. Give me something. Gotta give me something here. Oh, stay away from that. A little tornadoes will chase you. Hmm. Nothing still. I'm just like, like, sailing around, seeing if I can find that one little fish little glowy things coming out of the water showing that it's like some kind of special fish so I'm gonna go find that and I don't know how long it's gonna be so I'm just gonna cut from right here on until I find that fish so I'll see you guys whenever I find it alright looks like I have finally found another fish All right, uh, the special one I was looking for. Nope. Nope. There it is. There's the ugly duckling. What am I doing? 
Straight ahead, that's where I'm headed. Alright, I need to go around this. I see it over there. Whoa, hello. That's where I need to go. It's over there. Okay, okay. I had to be silent right there doing that one. Cool. Alright, so I was right. Rusted talisman. What is this? Oh, it's like a fishing thing. Out I go. Time to run. Alright. Finally got that one done. I just need to get this last crab. So in between the little cut period, I was trying to search around for one of those fish. I... Oh my god, leave me alone! Oh, needs repair. Okay, picking it up. Don't know how to repair. Is it in the shipyard? Gotcha. Okay. Um, um. Oh. Did it again. Okay. Okay, dropped into the crab pot. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna rest for like a full 24 hours. Then I'll come back and check on everything. Man, so close. So far, we're doing good with time, but I think the last one was like 40 minutes when I checked. Well, after editing and all that, I think I spent about 40 minutes in the last video. I guess these, this would make sense if this one was a lot longer. Still not the crab I need. Still, still, still. Don't know what other crab I need. Um, fish market. Right, so all fish, I don't need them. This I can discard. I don't need that. Consolidate those, move that to storage, storage, storage. I assume I'll hold on to that for some reason. That's the storage. Storage, storage, okay. Storage and storage. Leave room here for stuff. Okay. Oh, I don't think I ever rested. Now it's kind of rest. Let's see what happens. Do, 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 do. Did it again.
I'm sorry guys, I don't know what the deal is with this game right now, why it's doing this. It's kind of frustrating me. This is the one I need, I believe. This is the one I need. I think this is the one. Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stone Shrine, yes. Crab. Silver Plate, sell that for money. Goblet, sell that for money. Lumber, I really don't need that. Research part, store, 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 store. Adamless Flame, store that. And let's get out of here. Okay. I think my last spot to go to is back over here. See what happens. All right. I need to loop back around over here. Okay. Stone Crucible. Nope. Okay. I want to leave. I want to go back to the fanatic. Three fathomless flames. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So I need to put the fathomless flames inside of here. Statues. The left one. Ta da. I want to do the middle one. Ta-da! Well, look at the right one. This guy. Bam! <clears throat> good. Alright, dog. Flames lit. Uh, swirling sea spray around the altar a cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet the freezing blaze climbs his leg his chanting continues no pain detectable in his voice he lifts his arms skyward seconds later the inferno engulfs him it rages for a moment then abruptly dies away a cold mist pulls around the floor in the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea no trace of the fanatic remains the pyre is cold and damp Take the clock watch, it's freezing cold, it vibrates in your palm, clock hand spinning wildly below the cracked base. Alright, well now we have it. This is just spelling all kinds of weird for me, man. All kinds of weird. So, oh, that's not what I wanted. Um, what do I want to do? Oh, that's right. Uh, manifest. Manifest. Ta -da. Well, hello there, sir. <sighs> Perch is drawing closer with an incessant kicking. You have the pocket watch. Take out the watch. Its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forward as you place it in front of the collector. Though it's been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. And with that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Well, yes, I do. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I expect you know by now. It will become apparent soon enough. We must make one final voyage. This time, it will be you. 
Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be safe from this point onwards. You wish to continue. Well, yeah. Yes. The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. We're waiting for the right time. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Morrow. It's marked on the map. We must not tarry on the open wires, not with such a significant cargo. Make haste. Collectors aboard your vessel. Where am I supposed to go? This way. Look at that big old skull down there. Did you guys see that? Pumpkin ship. Da 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 da. Don't see anything. This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Bring who back? Oh, are you the one that writes all those letters in the bottles that I've been seeing? I bet you this is the guy. Like, I, I thought that the wife or something had died when they went sailing. I bet you this is the husband. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time, he throws the pocket watch overboard. And tethered by chains of the deep, he throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more, he throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens, he slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay weary world to rest, he throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Oh, I don't like this. Creepy music. His wife? That went overboard so many years ago? Oh. Oh, what is that? Oh, is that like a giant squid? Oh, God. Oh, snap! It destroyed Greater Morrow. Oh, my gosh. The lighthouse is gone. Wow. Well, that was pretty cool. I feel like I spent a lot of the like first few episodes of this game just kind of going around and fishing and stuff like that. Just I guess just trying to learn about the game and just have fun, see what I could do. I ended up maxing out the ship finally, just explored all the areas, maxed out my ship, earned a bunch of money, but I ended up dredging a lot and up finally like upgraded my entire ship and i got a bunch of stuff fast ship with the bright lights and everything and now we're here we're at the end we finally hit the end of the game and i must say this is that was a fun game that was pretty cool especially once i actually figured out what i was supposed to do and actually follow the story of the collector this was actually a pretty fun game i liked it this is actually really cool Hmm. I like it. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get past this real quick. Man. What a cool game. Absolutely awesome. 10 out of 10 for me. That was a lot of fun. Super cool. You know. Um. Oh, maybe 9 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I don't know. 
I think I went, got a little excited on that one. <laughs> um, I will say the boat mechanics were a little weird, like having to maneuver the boat through a lot of rocks. Like you'd see where it would start to drift. Like I get the water mechanics, you know, but uh, I mean, it makes sense. Like they tried to make realistic water mechanics for this thing, which I respect, you know, but I think it just made it a little bit harder for as a player to try and do that, especially on like a mouse and keyboard, like trying to figure out how to not send yourself flying into a rock like I did a few times. But besides that, that, that was a lot of fun. You know, you really had to go out there and fish. You had to learn how to fish different fish, different areas, different types of fish. So that way, you know, so you had to work towards getting those other lines, those other um, reels and stuff and upgrades and nets and crab pots and stuff. There was, this wasn't a game where you could just be like, oh, I'm just going to fish or, you know, oh, I'm just going to upgrade my boat and sail around and stuff like, no, if you wanted to progress, you have to get comfortable with a lot of things. You have to get comfortable with crab pots. You have to get comfortable fishing at day and at night. It's not a game where you can just fish during the day, which is I, that was pretty cool. So I enjoyed it thoroughly. This is going to be the end of Dredge. I'm probably not going to record this game anymore. Um, but yeah, this is fun. I definitely recommend this. I would give it about an eight, eight or nine out of 10 right now. So I had a lot of fun. I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun if you decide to get this game. I saw it on Steam. I can't remember how much it was, but it was a lot of fun. I would highly recommend this game. And thank you guys for coming. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to Hit the like button down below, leave a comment down below, and go subscribe to the channel. We're doing good with subscribers right now. We're at 75 subscribers, so that's good. We're almost to 100, so that's going to be pretty cool when we get to 100. Um, and of course, still aiming for 1,000. You know, of course, I'm still trying to hit my monetization goal, but I've already, you know, you guys look back at the other videos, you know, I already pre I always preach the 1,000 hours and 4, oh, sorry, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. You know, that's why I need to get monetized, you know, but... The more subscribers that come, the more you guys come and subscribe and support the channel, the more the channel grows and the more I'm able to, my content's able to go out to more people and more people are able to enjoy the videos. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Help me to grow, help me to grow my channel. Help me to get this channel out there so that way more people can enjoy it like you. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.